Yes. Yes, look at you. How cute you are. Yes. Are you mama's boy? Are you mama's boy? <laughs> hey guys, all right, welcome to my channel, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness, maybe you wonder, uh, you know I try to upload three videos per week, usually Monday, Wednesday and Friday, but you know, it's not always like that, but I do try to upload, you know, three videos per week, and you might be wondering what happened, like, why didn't I upload any video Monday or even Wednesday? Well, <laughs> okay, my plan was to upload a video uh, on Monday. In fact, I was planning to film a video about why I couldn't breastfeed. I wanted to let you guys know exactly what happened, like why things didn't work out for me and all that. But Monday was a long, pretty bad day for my husband and I and for Lucas. Hey, he's so cute. Um, yeah, it was one of those days, oh man, I mean, okay guys, so I don't know where to start, um, so, okay, let's, let's see, let's rewind a little bit, so, when my parents were here back in April, and you know, when we were changing Lucas, my mom and I, usually my mom and I were the ones changing him, changing his diapers, we noticed that he had like, um, Kind of like a bulge down there, like in one of his testicles, you know, like on the groin area, right? Like what, one side of his groin was bigger than the other. And we were like, hmm, you know, we should mention that, I should mention that to his uh, nurse practitioner, right? Um, so, so we show her that and she said, oh, I think that's a hernia. That's an um, inguinal hernia, they call it. Uh, and basically, what it is, is very, very common in pre on preemie boys, especially on boys, is like 8 to 10 times, boys have ten, 8 to 10 times more chances to get inguinal hernias than, than girls. So, basically, it's very common in boys, and especially preemie boys. In fact, it's one of the, the way they fix that is one of the most common surgeries. I didn't know, I had no idea until I started doing my research. Uh, I had no idea that that was a common surgery, but it turned out it turns out that it is. So okay, to make it short, um, so his nurse practitioner wanted to uh, see an specialist, uh, a surgeon, like a pediatrician, pediatric surgeon, pediatric surgeon. Sorry, guys. So um, so that's what we did Monday. So Monday we uh, we had the appointment uh, back like in Orlando, so it's like an hour. It was total like one hour, 45 minutes, almost two hours to get there. The hospital is called Nimur's, Nimur's Children's Hospital. Uh, supposed to be a very good hospital, like kids from all the country supposedly go there to get surgeries and stuff. Okay, so we went, we saw the surgeon, um, and she basically says she checked him out, and she said that we do need to do surgery on him. Now you can imagine... <clears throat> This was like a bag of bricks that fell on me that day. I wasn't expecting. You know, when, you know when you go to the doctor and you are feeling positive, you are thinking positive, and you, you know, you imagine like a good outcome. Like they're gonna say, "Oh no, you know, let's just wait. Let's just wait and see." Sometimes they clear up. That's what I read online. But according, you hear him talk. He's so talkative, right? Like, wait a minute. <laughs> There he is. Oh my goodness. If he knew what's going to happen to him in just... I don't know. I don't know when the search is going to be, guys. Uh, that's another thing. I don't know exactly. We don't have a date yet. Um, you know, they just want to make sure that he's okay for surgery and all that. Um, so we need to see another doctor before that. But that's going to be like next week now. Uh, and yeah, it was shocking. It was pretty shocking. I wasn't expecting her to say... That he needed surgery. So needless to say that Monday was an awful day for me. Uh, I wasn't in the mood to record at all. <laughs> I mean, that was probably the last thing I wanted to do, guys. Um, you know, it's pretty scary when um, when they tell you your three and a half month old baby 
is gonna have to have surgery it's gonna have to have you know general anesthesia it's pretty scary um, if you are a mom you know what I'm talking about even if you're not you probably can imagine you know how nerve-wracking yeah. this is gonna be for me and it is already yeah. uh, I don't want to think about the day when we go like, to the hospital for surgery and stuff I don't want to think about it um, the surgery lasts about she said hour hour and a half and they have two ways to do it and we chose the laparoscopy way which is you know that little camera that goes inside and the, the incision is very very small like this big maybe uh, and you know they fix it all with, with the camera and all that they have you know tools and stuff and they 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 fix the hernia they put the little piece of intestine that you know kind of comes out of place and I can make a video guys explaining to you guys a little bit better I think I'm gonna do that once the surgery is over you know once he has the surgery and he's recovering well I can make a video for anybody if anybody's experiencing this I mean if you know if you have kids and one of your kids gets diagnosed or got diagnosed with inguinal hernia and they told you you're gonna have to have surgery I could make a video kind of telling you my experience you know about the whole thing so so you feel you're not alone I mean like I said it's pretty pretty common especially in preemies and in boys so I don't know guys but he was like I said uh, we weren't expecting that nor in the, neither my husband or I I mean we were like so weighing is not an option you know like when that's what you want to hear and she's like no not really this these things don't clear up and the danger of not taking care of it the danger of not having surgery is that it can get strangled it can get like strangled like trapped hey guys sorry about that he, he got fussy so I had to um I brought him there to the living room so like I was saying, the dangerous part about not um, doing surgery when a baby has an inguinal hernia is that, like I said, it can get trapped, it can get like a strang strangle, I think they call it strangle, um, and that's really, really bad and very dangerous. So to avoid that, to avoid that emergency situation and emergency surgery and, and, and freak out, right, uh, that's why the doctor says the best thing to do is fix it now that you know it's not bad it's not that bad and fix it now and it's gonna be easier he's gonna have to stay one night at the hospital just to make sure you know that he's breathing right and everything is okay his oxygen levels are okay especially I think it's because he was born with troubles with issue with tra uh, trouble breathing so that's why he has to stay otherwise if he didn't have had that when he was born and he haven't been a preemie, he hadn't been a preemie, I think he could go home the same day. But since, like I said, he did have um, issue breathing when he was born, uh, he's gonna have to, to spend the night, so I'm gonna stay. Uh, David's gonna come here with the dogs at night, and I'm gonna stay uh, with him at the hospital. They, they, you can stay in the room with the baby, that's not a problem. Even, like, even if my husband wanted to stay, he could stay. Uh, and it's not that he doesn't want to, but you know, we have the dogs here and it's a mess, like, we don't want to have to hire a pet sitter uh, for that night. And it's just one night, you know, it's not that he's going to be staying for a long time, thanks God. So, yeah, guys, um, so like I said, we don't have a date for the surgery. I will let you guys know that oh, I'm going to be so stressed. And I think, don't expect many sit-down videos these days, these following days, like, till the surgery is, you know, over and stuff. Because I just don't feel in the mood to record those sit-down videos. And I don't like recording videos if I'm not in the mood for, you know what I mean? Like, um, it's just, it's not okay. It's not fair to you guys because I just don't like how my video looks if I'm not having a good day. If I'm, and right now, I mean, it's, I'm doing better than I did Monday, of course. But I still have, you know, that worry in the back of my mind. And I'm just, like I said, I need this time kind of like, I mean, I don't mind vlogging these this following days, vlogging is fine, it's actually, it's going to be like a distraction for me to not think about it so much, you know, about the surgery and all that, but I don't, I don't feel like really filming sit-down videos, you know, and getting prepared and like, you know, sit-down videos need a little bit more preparation, of course, than a vlog, so I just don't feel like doing that right now, so I apologize, um, there's one video that you might see because that one I'm so excited about 
<laughs> that that's what I might film. Uh, we'll see. I'm not gonna tell you. It's a surprise. Uh, it has to be about beauty. It's beauty related. Okay. Uh, so I might film that one. I'm expecting something on the mail that I can't wait to get, and I think I'm gonna film a video with that. You can expect one sit down video in the couple of following weeks, but that's it. Then the rest I think is gonna be vlogs. So okay, guys. So I'm gonna go now because my arm is killing me, um, and yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you, I don't know guys, I'm gonna just keep on vlogging, I think maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure, over the weekend, I would like to film over the weekend, and we have uh, 4th of July coming next week, so yeah, so I'm gonna be vlogging more, okay, so thank you so much for watching guys, thank you for sticking around, and if you have kids and any of them have experienced an inguinal hernia please leave me a comment down below and let me know how it went how you know the whole surgery was and the recovery was the doctor says the recovery should be a pretty much a breeze so i'm not worried about that what worries me like i said is you know the surgery itself like having him put down you know under um considering you know he's such a young baby such a little baby so that's my concern, of course. Okay, so anyways, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you guys on my next vlog. Bye.